Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a really neat trick with Mentos and Coke. So I'm going to be showing you what happens when you open Coke under oil and then put Mentos in it. It's a really cool reaction. I'm also going to be showing you how you can measure the amount of CO2 that comes off of the Coke once you put Mentos in it. But here's the question. Do you get more CO2 coming out of the Coke when you put Mentos in it or when you don't? So I'm going to actually measure that because I want to dispel a popular myth that putting Mentos in soda actually increases the pressure. Okay, so first let me show you the cool reaction that happens when you put soda under oil in water and put Mentos in it. It's a really cool reaction. So first let's pour in the oil. You need a lot of this oil. So this is just regular vegetable oil. Okay, so next we'll put in our Coke. So let's see what it looks like to open a Coke under oil. So I'm going to su first submerge it in the oil and then open it. If I can. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, now we'll pour it out. <laughs> Look at that. Do the next one. Look at it pouring under the oil, that's so cool. Okay, let's do one more just for good luck. Okay, now let's put in some Mentos. Three, two, one. Oh, there it goes. So it gets a little bit of coating of oil as it goes in, and it has to dissolve a little bit of that oil, and then it can start fizzing. <laughs> Let's stick in a few more. Oh, there they go. <laughs> Whoa. This is what it looks like from the top. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so next I'm going to be actually measuring the amount of CO2 that comes off the Coke when we put the Mentos in it versus when we just have a regular Coke that we open and let all of the CO2 come out of it. Will more CO2 come out of the Coke where we put the Mentos in it or a regular Coke? Okay, first let's see how much comes off a soda that doesn't have a Mentos in it. 
So I'm going to open it. It's going to let off a little bit of pressure, but then I'm going to stick a balloon on it and shake it and let some CO2 come out of solution or dissolve out of the soda. This on. So it's actually not that much CO2. Okay, so I'm going to put a Mentos in this balloon now. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same experiment. So I'm gonna open it, let out the initial pressure, just like I did with the other one. Now, Balloon over. So you can see this one filled up a lot faster, but the volume's equivalent. There you go, look at this. About the exact same volume, this one had mentals in it, this one did not. So you can see that the amount of CO2 that was released is exactly the same. The thing is, this one just did it faster than this one. So the reason that the one with mentals in it didn't get bigger than the one without mentals in it is because the mentals only acts like a catalyst. Meaning that it doesn't actually release more CO2 out of the coke, it just releases the CO2 faster. So the blue balloon filled up faster but the amount of CO2 that was released is exactly the same. Because the only amount of CO2 you can have in the system is how much that was initially put in it from the start. And so it doesn't add more to it. It's not like it makes this reaction happen that makes an explosion. It just makes it happen faster. So in a regular Coke, when you put mentals in it and it overflows, the only reason that's happening is because it released tiny little bubbles of CO2 all at once really fast. And so it pushes all the liquid out at once. Whereas when you open a regular Coke and don't put mentals in it, that CO2 is slowly released so it has time to bubble up through and doesn't push the liquid out with it. And also, the only reason that the CO2 is coming out of the coke in the first place is because we opened it and we released the pressure. So now there's a higher partial pressure of CO2 in the liquid than the atmosphere, and so it wants to bubble out of it. But when it's already under pressure, that means that it can't come out of solution. So when you shake a soda, the pressure doesn't actually increase because there's no difference in the partial pressure in the headspace up here and in the liquid. And so shaking a soda doesn't increase the pressure. And also if you had a Mentos up top near the lid in a closed soda bottle and let it drop down in it, it also wouldn't increase the pressure. Cause like I said, the Mentos doesn't actually do or add anything to the soda. It just makes it dissolve out of solution faster. But because the soda hasn't been opened yet, there's no driving force to make it dissolve out. And so nothing happens. And I actually showed this in a previous video where I put a Mentos in a soda bottle, let it equilibrate and come to pressure again, and then drop the Mentos in the soda, and the pressure didn't actually increase, nothing happened. And I've showed it in a previous video as well that when you shake a soda bottle, the pressure inside doesn't increase when it's already been closed at equilibrium for a long time. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button and you can hit the bell so that you can be notified when my latest video's out. 
and check out the actionlab.com to see the Action Lab subscription box. And you can check out the link in my description to see the Action Lab experiment box where you can do experiments that you've seen me do on my channel. I chose my favorite ones and put them in a book form. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.